So this morning, Elegoo made an announcement that they'll be introducing a large platform 3D printer with a giant build size of 800 by 800 by 1000 millimeters. But unlike their current models, however, this printer will not be following the planetary naming conventions, so unfortunately this will not be called Uranus. It will, however, be called the Orange Storm Giga, and there's very little information to go by so far other than what's seen in this picture. From the looks of it, it'll be using an overhead Cartesian style gantry with a fixed table, and it'll utilize dual Z-axis drive motors with timing belts to raise and lower the Z-axis from the four corners of the gantry, utilizing what looks like either large Acme screws or possibly fine pitch ball screws. The Y-axis appears to be driven from a single motor in the center of the rear of the gantry, and the tool head appears to be of a newer design that hasn't been seen yet, but this could just be a product of the shroud and may possibly house a Neptune 4 volcano style hot end. If we look at the build plate, it appears that they're using a PEI surface, but the photo looks like it's actually four PEI sheets that meet up in the middle. The controller looks to be a 7 inch touchscreen, much like the Creality Sonic Pad or Big Tree Tech Pad 7. And while it's hard to tell from the picture, my assumption is that they're using clipper firmware with a light colored theme to match the machine's aesthetic. It looks like power and communication come from this cable right here that work their way up to the screen. And it's got USB, more than likely Wi-Fi, so that kind of renders that a moot point. Personally, I would have rather have seen them go with a Core XY style machine, kind of like a Creality K1 Max, or a machine styled like a Bamboo P1P with a larger build surface. This does seem to be geared towards industrial applications or people that want to make their prints in one gigantic piece. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, it does kind of look like they're going with the Revo style nozzle which would be a good thing because you can get nozzle diameters of different size with the Revos and they're quick change. So you don't have to worry about heating up the machine and removing the nozzle. You can just do cold swaps with the Revo nozzle. So it's exciting to see what they're introducing. I don't know if there's going to be a giant market for this for the home gamers, especially those that don't have a room that can encompass this gigantic machine. But if you've got a workshop in your basement and you've got the space for it, this is going to be pretty cool for those cosplay people that are printing out suits of armor and things like that. So time will tell what is going to come of the Elegoo Orange Storm Giga. I guess stay tuned and we're all going to find out together. So this morning, Elegoo made an exciting announcement that they'll be introduced. <laughs>